So today I'm going to do a practice for um, standing up against bullying or to erase bullying. In Canada we wear pink to represent um, our national Stand Up Against Bullies Day. So that's why I'm in pink today. This video, this yoga practice could be for anybody um, at any time. It's real focused on how we feel when we're bullied, fear, anxiety, stress, maybe defeat. Myself, I was bullied um, when I was 14 in grade eight. I had to leave the school um, and eventually move into another school. But through the years being a yoga teacher, I've taught to many of my adult students as well as teenage students. And for those of us that have been bullied, it stays with us for our, our lives. We just deal with it and we grow from it and learn from it. And for those that are dealing with bullying right now, whether it be at work, at school, university, or online, I wanted to give you some tools today to really work on what you can do when you're feeling stressed, anxiety, or fear of how you can get these tools to work for you to get this out of your system and for you to feel more calm and connected to yourself. First, we're gonna start in standing. We're gonna come up to mountain pose. And I wanted to do poses today that also you could do anywhere. The props that I have today are very simple, just a blanket, a block, and a hand towel. And I'm also gonna use some essential oil later on and a hand towel. Coming to the top of your mat, we're gonna come into mountain pose. So this is the top of your mat, the front of your mat. I'm gonna turn sideways just so you can see me frontal in mountain and describe mountain pose for those of you that haven't done a practice before. In mountain bows, we wanna have the feet and legs hip width apart, nice and strong on the feet, and even if you've done yoga before, we're really getting into tucking the tail a lot, sitting a lot, so really working on Tadasana, a really good standing pose, a really good standing position, alignment for your body. So really feel the feet, you can lift the toes, stretch those toes out here in Canada, it's winter, so we wanna give them a good stretch, they've been in socks and boots. And then really feel yourself grounding down into your mat. Feel your calves, engage the calves, thighs. Don't lock the knees, but feel strong in your legs. Then feel the pelvis, just a little bit of a hinging back in the, the hips and the hip bones. Feel the pelvis going back just a little bit. And then lengthening all the way up your spine, lengthening up the spine. Let the shoulders soften down the back, open your heart. You can keep the eyes open or closed and just shutting down the eyes if you're on your mat and just checking in to what it feels like to feel connected to the earth, to feel strong like a mountain. Tadasana mountain pose is a stabilizing pose, a grounding pose. And when we are feeling anxious or anxiety or stress, we can get very, very busy in the mind, very anxious in the body. So we really wanna ground ourselves, find that grounding energy from the earth. So nice and strong, feet, legs, long spine, shoulders down and back, open heart. And then from here, I'd like you to bring your hands together at your heart center and just pausing at your heart to notice how you're feeling in your heart today. So standing in a strong, solid pose, mountain, gathering all the strength from mountain, and then feeling your heart. Perhaps you notice the rhythm of your heartbeat. And then noticing your breath, breathing in and breathing out. And perhaps this is new to you to really check into your breath or feel your breath. Let it be like the breath outside, like the natural breath, the breeze. And just feel it going in and out of your body. And let it calm you. Let it relax you. Let the thoughts come and go, just like the breeze going across the mountains. See your thoughts coming and going, but let the breeze, the breath, release them. Let them go. You can do mountain as long as you like. We're going to continue into rejuvenating swing. So I'm going to ask you to take your feet a little wider than your hips so you're comfortable, nice and wide, but still feeling stable in the feet. Make sure that you feel balanced and stable in the feet, and I'd like you to release your hands down by your sides. You're going to come into a soft swing. For those of you with low back issues, you may want to just softly lift the heel, or if you're new to this practice, you may want to lift the heel as you sway from side to side. Breathing in and breathing out. And just notice again, shutting the eyes, but just allow those eyes to close and sink inward into your body. Just allowing yourself to check in. How are you feeling? Just getting some of that energy flowing in and out of your body. Starting to swing, a soft, gentle swing, twisting, 
twisting the spine, twisting the organs, and letting it all go. You may want to do a mantra. Nice one when you're feeling stressed or anxiety, or even fear is inhale, let, exhale, go. So you just say those words as you inhale, let, exhale, go, as you swing from side to side. And then I want you to just slowly start to come down. Now again, for those of you with back issues, I want you to come even slower and really notice the knees and only come down as far as it feels appropriate for you and your body today. And maybe this is low enough, or maybe you need to come up a little higher. Check in, go slow, be mindful. We don't want to cause any harm in your body. We want to practice to be of love and kindness towards ourselves. And then I'm going to ask you just to take those arms and move more to a figure eight with the arms. So no matter how high you are, you can start lifting the heels again if that felt better for you or stay planted in the feet. And then let your head go. Don't let your head lift up. Let the back of the neck be long. Let your head be heavy towards your mat. And just drawing that figure eight with the hands. Now imagine if it's in your heart that you're feeling hurt or anxious or stressed. See that worry. See those thoughts leaving your heart. See them flowing down from the heart, down your arms, your hands, and let it go into the earth. And really try and visualize that. Really try and imagine whatever it is that you're holding in your heart that's not serving you right now. And even if it is just right now, just let it go. If there's thoughts in your mind that are really bothering you, somebody said something or you read something, then just see them leaving your mind. See them leaving the mind flowing down through the head, through the neck, down through the shoulders, arms, and hands. And let it be absorbed by the earth. And then let it go. Again, you can stay with inhaling and exhaling, inhaling that, exhaling go. And maybe you're only this high, that's absolutely fine. And then I'd like you to slowly listen to the inhale. With that inhale, bring yourself all the way up and swinging. And know that any of these pos postures or sequencing you can do as long as you like or just one on one day. That might be all that you can handle, all that you need. I'm gonna do a full sequence today, but you can break it up, make it your own. You're gonna go up now, reaching for the sky. Again, I'm lifting my heels, a little tension in my back. So I'm lifting and swinging side to side, reaching for the sky. Lengthen is a beautiful stretch through my side body. So if you're feeling tight in the sides, you can just really lift and lengthen. And if having the hands up over your head is too much, then simply let them come down to what is best for you, what height is appropriate for your body, for your shoulders. And then again, I want you to just imagine now, what is it that you'd like to bring in to your heart? See it coming down the hands and arms and the shoulders and into your heart and imagine it whether it be a word, a situation, a thought, and breathe it in. And then think of something that you are grateful for, something in this day that you are grateful for, and let it come down into your heart center. And then you slowly come back down, and you're gonna come in to rejuvenating swing, a few more breaths and rejuvenating swing, and letting it all go. And then from here, I'd like you just to seal rejuvenating swing in your heart. Bring the hands together at heart center. Pause and just feel what it feels like to return to stillness after being in a swing, after twisting gently. Heel toe the feet and legs. Still going to stay a little bit wider than the hips. And this is a really great breath when we're feeling stressed or angry and we just really need to get it out. I like to call it wood chopper breath. I do it a lot with my students when we're having something going on in the community of the world that we're upset about. You're gonna inhale the arms up. You're gonna bend the knees and you're gonna come down like that, okay? And again, you only go as far as it feels appropriate for you. You're gonna follow me, inhaling up, and you're gonna do a ha when you come down, like you're chopping wood. Inhale up, ha, and the louder the better. Inhale up, ha and let it go. And just see again that person, those words, the situation, just chopping it away. Let it go. Ha! Few more. Inhale up. Ha! Ha! Be loud. 
out, be strong, and let it go. Ha! One last one. Ha! You're feeling a little bit lightheaded. Sometimes you get a little bit lightheaded after wood chopper breath. Just stay down, let the head be heavy. Come back to your natural rhythm of breath. On the inhale, when you're ready, wait for it until you're ready. Inhale, rising, coming all the way up, bring the hands together, heart center. We're gonna come into some poses known as warrior, warrior one and warrior two. Starting with warrior two, you're gonna just bend the knees and take your legs as wide as it feels comfortable for you on your mat. Taking them nice and wide, you're gonna start with turning your left foot at a 90 and your right foot at a 45. You may wanna take that left foot a little bit wider out to the left if you're really tight in the hips. Again, I want you to feel really stable, really strong and grounded in the feet, especially when we're working with anxiety or stress or fear. We wanna really feel that we're okay, that we're fine, that we're stable. So feel those feet and start to bend into the left knee. Taking the left knee just a little bit towards the second, third toe, bring the hands to the heart center. The best you can centering the heart over your pelvis. And I want you just to check in that all the weight isn't on that left leg or left knee and equally distribute the weight. So feel that right leg, get strong on the right calf thigh like you did earlier in mountain pose and right down to the outside of that right foot and into the heel. Today I'd like you to bring your hands together at heart center to start warrior two. And then you're going to extend the hands and look over that left shoulder. So you're looking into the distance. And then you're going to exhale and bring those hands back to the heart. Inhale, lengthen. Exhaling, release. Inhale. Breathing in and breathing out. Inhaling, let. Exhaling, go. Allow your breath to be mindful breath. Feel the rhythm of your breath as you breathe in and you breathe out. A few more. Breathing in and out. And just feeling that beautiful movement from the hands and arms right into the heart center. Bringing the hands together at the heart, turning the feet. Right foot will now go to a 90, left foot to a 45. Move those feet around. Good alignment, good foundation for you to build your practice on physically, mentally, emotionally. We want a good foundation. And then let that right knee towards the second, third toe and bring the arms up. Checking in that you have just as much weight on that back leg, you feel nice and strong and stable on both feet. Relax the shoulders and looking over your right hand arm. Begin again with the breath, exhaling into the heart, inhaling, lengthening. Exhaling into the heart, inhale, lengthening. Feel the extension, fingertip to fingertip. And it would be a warrior when we're facing fear, when we're facing bullying, something in our lives, whether we're 14 or 54. Breathing into what you want to bring into your life, what you want to let go of. Letting the warrior, the qualities of warrior, physically, mentally, emotionally, come into your body and gather that strength. If it's not for you, then do warrior pose for someone else that may need your energy, that may need your strength. And one last one, bring it out and then bring it in. You're gonna straighten your right knee, pivot back to the front of your mat. I'm gonna go into warrior one, but today in warrior one, I'm gonna do it with my right heel off the floor, just in case some of you are new, it's a little bit easier on the body. And it keeps your, your pelvis a little bit more stable, that you're not pulling so much. Again, I want you to really feel stable in both feet legs. I don't want you to feel that you're torquing or turning the pelvis or twisting and that you feel comfortable. So make sure that you take the time to adjust your feet. Bringing the hands to the heart center. You're gonna inhale the arms up, exhale them down to the heart and then open them up. Bring them back to the heart. Take them up, inhale, exhale into the heart and then inhale. We'll do that one more time. Exhale at the heart, close at the heart, protecting the heart, that's how you feel. Bring it up, what you need, what you wanna bring into your life, what you wanna bring into your practice. Bring it down on the exhale, open up on the inhale, and then bring the hands together. Turning right around to the back of your mat for warrior one on the other side. With the left heel up today, feel that pelvis nice and stable in both feet, both legs. 
sinking the right knee, keeping the pelvis right over the hips and knees, knees stacked over the ankle. Nice alignment. Bring the hands back together at the heart center. Pause, feeling your foundation, feeling your alignment, warrior one. Checking into how you're feeling on all levels. Inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale down. Open the arms up. Inhale. Up. Exhale down. Inhale, open the arms up. Find a spot to gaze at. That'll help you balance a little bit better. Steadying the eyes will help you to just steady the mind. Working the body a little bit in here just to get rid of any tension, anxiety, or stress, or even anger that maybe you're feeling today after what happened or what you're going through. Bring the hands together at the heart center, and then just turn and come back to the side of your mat, or you can step forward to the front of your mat. Nice deep breath, breathing in and breathing out. I'm gonna just turn this way one more time just so you can see me better in mountain. We're gonna come back into mountain pose one last time. Feet and legs are hip width apart, engage the calves, engage the thighs. Nice long spine, really feeling strong. And you can do mountain pose anywhere, whether you're standing at school, at home, at the bank, just really checking in, feeling strong. Gather that energy. Feel the alignment of your spine. From here, we're gonna come into a breath that I like to, I've taught this a lot. I've do done it myself, whether it be at a hospital, in the bathroom, in the garage, before we come, sometimes when we're angry, we come in the house and we take it out on our, our, our loved ones. So this is just a really nice breath to do, just to, again, just to help you ground and connect you and to release some energy. Our breath is connected to our emotions, so we wanna breathe fully and use it in a beneficial way. You're gonna inhale the arms up, exhale, let it go. Inhale the arms up. Breathing in a mindful breath. Feel the rhythm of your breath as you breathe in and breathe out. Breathing in and breathing out. And just for now, let it all go. I like to visualize when I'm doing this one that I'm protecting myself with light. And as I bring it up, I let that light just shower all around me. And I just visualize it protecting me. I bring it up. And then I let it come down and shower all around me. So I have this protective light energy surrounding me. You can also imagine that they're wings. And these wings are opening up, giving you the courage, the strength that you need to face the fears or face what you're facing and then drawing them into the heart is also the wings protecting you. And you can just continue as long as that feels appropriate. And again, I really encourage you to do this. You can also do it sitting down. If it's standing is too much and listen to your breath. Do a couple more, nice deep breath, either mouth open or closed. Let it all go. If for whatever reason taking the arms, I've had shoulder issues, you can just also just take the hands on the shoulders and rotate the wings. You still get the beautiful rotations, and beautiful movement in the shoulders, upper back, but it's a modified version. You can still do the visualization and do the breath work. From here, we're gonna bring the hands to the heart center, and then you're gonna come down to all fours. So find your way transitioning down to all fours. I'm gonna inhale my arms up, go through the heart center, bend my knees a lot, and make my way down. You can find your own way down, what is most beneficial for your body today. And we're gonna to come to all fours. If you need any more padding for your knees, you can have a blanket, and you can place the blanket underneath your knees. Make sure that your knees are stacked under the pelvis, hip width apart, hands underneath the shoulders. You wanna stack those joints. Fingers nice and wide, rooting down the index and thumb. And we want to strengthen and lengthen the fingers, even if they're a little bit arthritic. You want to get, keep strengthening. This is really good for the bones. We want to put that weight on the bones and strengthen the hands and wrists. Also, the computer and texting we're doing, we really want to strengthen those hands and wrists and straighten them out. From here, in cat-cow, you're going to lift your pelvis up, open the belly, then let the chest float away from the belly, Lift the chin to float away from your chest. 
Exhale, tuck the tail, round the back, and then feel the chin slowly moving to the chest. Lift the sit bones, lift the pelvis, float through your low back, your mid back, your upper back, your shoulders, your neck, your head. Float the sit bones down, tailbone down like a mad cat, reaching up for the sky, chin goes to the chest, a nice beautiful stretch for the spine. I really love cat-cow, I usually recommend this, we only have time for one pose that you do cat-cow. Again, it really strengthens the bones and the hands and arms, legs, weight bearing, but most importantly, it really moves the spine. Brings a nice mobility into the spine, into each vertebra, each disc. If you do have back issues, you can move a little slower, especially through the areas that are hurt or have past trauma, and breathe deeper. Let's do one more. Coming into cat, nice beautiful stretch. And then into cow. Now for whatever reason you can't go on the, the wrist, that's too much for you, just note that you can come onto the fist or down onto the forearms. Those are nice modifications for the wrist. Coming back, you're gonna come into the child's pose. From child's pose, Again, you can keep the blanket underneath the knees. That might be better for your knee if you have knee issues. For some of you, that doesn't feel good at all. So then you can take your blanket and you can just take it right underneath your pelvis. You take it nice and close. You want to tuck it right into the knees really close. You can double it up again as much as you need. And then you can come down into your child's pose. You want your head to be resting. So if that, if you're, you're up here, I have a lot of people, this is supposed to be a beginner's pose, but many, many, many of my students cannot do child's pose. So they may be up here. So then you can use a block and place it underneath your head. This way, you can change the block up many ways. And you can get these blocks anywhere, okay? Or some people, it's their ankles that bother them. So then you can take the blanket so we can always modify, we can always adjust in yoga, the poses. You always want your body to be safe, to be comfortable, especially when we're working on a sequence where we're dealing with anxiety and stress. Then coming into child's pose. Resting your head on your mat or your block. The hands can be stretched out overhead. They can go as wide as you need to. If you have shoulder issues, you may want to bend, bend the elbows a little bit. And then today, I'd like just to encourage you to really rock on your forehead, rolling it from side to side. This is really calming for the mind, for the nervous system. Just rocking from side to side. Really calming your mind. Just feeling the body in child's pose and noticing what you feel. As you hold child's pose, I like to read from Paulo Coelho. I read a lot in my public classes. I love poetry and quotes. And they're really beneficial if you are, again, going through something. Or even if you're not, it's always lovely to start your day with a beautiful quote or a poem. And the ones I've selected today are Warrior, about warriors. And they're from Warrior of the Light. A warrior never gives in to fear. When he is searching for what he needs without love, he is nothing. So we want to forgive for ourselves, not, well, for others, but mostly for ourselves, because sometimes that is hard. Also, while you're just pausing in your child's pose, it's also nice to set yourself up an area of your house that is relaxing, that is comforting, and most importantly, that you feel safe. So you can read some beautiful quotes, some poetry, a safe space where you feel safe, that you can let go, that you can express yourself how you need to. Then once you come up from child's pose, you're going to come all the way up. We're going to transition to your back, or you're going to transition to your back, and I'm going to demo for you. So again, I'm going to use the blanket, and now it's going to be for your head. So you can take the blanket and just fold it right up, and that might be just what your head needs, like so. Or you might need it rolled up. A roll underneath the neck and a lot of people need that support 
again with um, our spines, and I'll talk more about that in another video, but when our spines are getting quite, um, uh, they're getting out of alignment on the computers and texting. So if your head turns a little forward or up like that, really give it the support it needs. And again, today is all about comfort, letting go, and connecting to yourself. So settling in, just bending the knees, feet and legs, hip width apart, nice long spine, supported head. Coming back to your breath, nice deep breath. Just feel it. Place one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. Let your elbows relax. You can close your eyes and just connect into your breath. Inhaling and exhaling, letting it all go. Now feeling the support underneath you, underneath your feet, your pelvis, your back, your head. You can close your eyes and just settle into your breath, a beautiful, natural rhythm of breath. If that mantra of letting go work for you, you can inhale, let, exhale, go. And even if it's just for now, let it all go. The emotions, the thoughts, the feelings. And just allow yourself to be comforted, to feel stable and safe. And feel that breath in your body. From here, I'd like you to bring your knees up, cupping one knee and then the other knee. You're going to stay with the breath, but now on the exhale, just let the belly float towards the spine and you draw the thighs in nice and close to the belly chest. On the inhale, feel the belly, feel the chest, the legs float away. The calves are just resting nice and comfortably against the backs of your thighs. Inhaling, the belly fills, the chest fills, and the legs float away. Exhale, the belly goes to the spine, bending the elbows, the thighs come in nice and close. And just squeezing the intestines, squeezing the organs, again like you're squeezing it out of your body, out of your heart, and then filling yourself up with nice, new, fresh blood, oxygen, thoughts. Exhaling, drawing them in, inhaling them. Let go. Inhale and exhale. And then let the knees just float completely away. Take them a little wider than your mat. Hands are going to come down by your sides, wider than the mat as well, palms turned up. We're going to move into windshield wipers. You're going to let your legs float to the right. So think of windshield wipers. And you're going to roll your head to the left. Inhale the knees and head to center. Float the legs to the left and roll your head to the right. Inhale to center. And then float them back to the side. And just pretend there's a nice slow rain. And those windshield wipers are going really slow. You're rolling your head, and again, you're going to come back into that rolling because that rolling is very beneficial for the nervous system. It gets the nervous system out of flight or fright, which you might have been feeling before this practice, and gets more into the parasympathetic nervous system, a calming nervous system. So rolling the head, rolling the body, or rocking, very soothing, very comforting. You're going to move in a way that is appropriate for your body, non-harming. So only going down as far as what feels appropriate today. And then feeling those legs, feeling the legs in the hips, and then feeling the rocking on the pelvis, on the sacrum. And then a soft twist of the low body. And then coming back to center with the legs. One more time, drawing the legs into the belly chest, giving yourself a nice big hug, and rocking from left to right. This rocking from left to right is like giving yourself a self-massage. It's lovely for the muscles, for the fascia, the stretchy in the low back. And for those of you that can't do little, uh, sorry, that can't do child's pose, this is a really nice modification to child's pose to go on your back and draw the thighs into the belly chest. 
And then you just start here and then gradually, maybe you'll get into being able to do child's pose. But if not, if you've got knee or hip issues, this is a beautiful modification for it. Just rocking left to right, again, really calming the nerves. And also massaging the kidney. The kidneys more on the back body, low back body. It's a nice massage for the kidneys that work very hard for us. And as well as the lungs. The lung, lungs are situated more on the back of your body. So a nice massage for the lungs. I'm going to ask you to keep rocking left to right, going as far as what feels best for your body. And I'm going to come up and just do one more poem for you. Again from Paula Kulo. This book is a lovely little book. It's, I've got many books, but this one is a life and it's selected quotes. Warriors of the light frequently ask themselves what they are doing here. Very often they believe that their lives have no meaning. This is why they are warriors of the light, because they make mistakes, because they ask questions, because they continue to look for meaning and in the end, they will find it. From here, I ask you to come down to Shavasana, your final resting pose. So you can take your blanket, cover yourself up. I'm gonna demo and then I'm gonna come up and I'm just gonna guide you into a lovely little guided, uh, sorry, guided Shavasana. So cover your whole body or just perhaps your low body. And you can use a hand towel. I've, I've brought a hand towel just to demo. They work really well for underneath the neck. If you need more support, it might just be single for you. And again, with the, the changing of our necks and spines, that might feel a lot healthier for your neck. Or when we are feeling stressed, we carry a lot of tension in the neck and shoulders. So that little bit of extra support for your neck might be what feels really, really nice for you because you have been carrying so much tension and stress in the neck and shoulders. Also, some of you may not have eye pillows, so the hand towels work really nice just to cover your eyes. Covering the eyes is also lovely for the nervous system, for the parasympathetic nervous system and the vagus nerve, which takes us into this place of deep relaxation. Just let your legs fall open until they're comfortable. The hands are gonna go a little wider than your mat, palms turned up. And I'd like to encourage you to start with some nice deep inhales and then exhaling through your mouth with a sigh. <sighs> Letting it all go. Staying in Shavasana. Relaxing completely. As you rest in Shavasana, allow yourself to imagine that you are resting on the earth. You're resting on the earth and you feel comfortable. You feel supported by the earth. You feel your feet and legs sinking into the earth, your pelvis, your back, your shoulders and arms and hands sinking into the earth, the head heavy. You allow your breath to come, the warm, gentle breeze, as you softly breathe in and out now. feeling the support of the earth underneath you. You begin to feel the warmth of the earth as if you're sinking into warm sand or warm grass. And that warmth allows your muscles to relax a little deeper, your bones to soften a little more. You feel the warmth of your breath and the warmth of the earth folding you, supporting you. And then you feel the sun above you and you allow only its healing rays to shine down upon you, warming the front of your body. And you imagine that warm sun with its healing rays and only the healing rays 
entering into your heart. And you feel that warmth and light spreading through your heart and through every cell of your being, allowing you to feel warm and filled with light. Feeling the support of the earth underneath you, the warmth of the sun above you, and its healing light entering into your heart and through your body into every cell. You feel relaxed. You feel supported. You feel at peace. Know that this is your true self and that you can come to this place at any time. Staying in your Shavasana for as long as you like or coming up to a seated place Bringing your hands together at your heart center. Like the lotus flower, may we all rise out of the darkness, mud of our lives to grow, blossom and bloom into our own unique beauty. Namaste. Namaste.